G'day my friends, Marty Weir here from Marty's Garden. Look, I thought I'd give you an update on my worm cast container gardens, especially the leafy green ones, because you've been watching me do a few plant out videos for those. And I look, I've got other stuff growing all around the place, all growing in compost, worm castings, and then being fertilized with pretty much worm tea is the only thing that goes through. Occasionally, I use a bit of seaweed, and you know, I am starting to use some other amendments that I can teach, like on the show, but predominantly everything 90% you see here, worm cast, compost, and worm tea. All right, let's have a look at the little garden. It's doing really, really well. I've got more plant outs coming for you on the way. So these are the plants from the very first video I did, how to plant out leafy greens in worm castings. And they're doing so well in this cheap, crappy container, really like, but, Hey, a container is just somewhere to house plants, right? So we're going to spin it around here and have a look. We've got some mizuna at the front. I've already been harvesting off the sides. These are beautiful and really spiky sort of flavour. And we've got some little bok choys running down here. And I can grab the little leaves for salads, grow them a bit bigger, and then throw them into stir fries. Down here, I've got some other like little leafy greens and things going on. But it's pretty much mostly bok choy and a mizuna and i'm really excited how well it's going and what's happening is is actually it was starting to flower out there so i picked it off and i'll get some new shoots coming out and this plant mizuna grows really well in the spring autumn and winter on the mid north coast and if you're in a temperate area spring it'll do really well for you plant it out with bok choy their companions. All right, let's grab the next container and I'll give you a good look at it, guys. So look at this planting, way cool, right? I better get zoom back on the camera to give you a better shot. Oh, just food overload. So planting out in one of these containers is really awesome, especially when you're growing organically in compost and worm castings. Now you could use a really good organic potting mix and then fertilize with worm castings and worm tea like I am if you've got a worm farm. Now you can use other concoctions. This predominantly has 100% that. Now I didn't show this plant out in a video, but when you get all the different sort of like lettuces that you can pull from and cut from the sides, they grow really well together and you can pack them all in and then just thin it out as you eat. And now I've been harvesting from this and look at all the food in here still. And look at the amazing color in these lettuces. Like, I don't know if you'd ever see something like more vibrant than this. Well, you, maybe you would. I'm probably going overkill here, but I just love what I'm doing. And you can see just how healthy these plants are like let's spin it around I'm spilling a bit of water here the worm tea spilling out onto the table but uh never mind eh look at that oh right let's have a little taste test i'm just gonna grab a little bit there oh so soft so delicious the thing is when you're growing lettuce you don't want to let them dry out if you let them dry out and get stressed, they go bitter. But if you're filling them with lots of good liquid fertilizer, such as a worm tea, and they're always moist, oh, this is a bomb. Let's get the next pot, shall we? Wow, look at these ones. Way cool. All right, I'll get the camera on a bit better. I'll give you a good look around. They are absolutely firing so this is from the second video worm cast container garden bok choy and lettuce planting now these guys are absolutely thumping and they're not the small like baby bok choy that i normally grow the dwarf ones these are the larger ones it's a deeper container and you can see it's doing really really well it had one other thing other than the compost and the worm cast and it's been fertilized with the worm tea it had a little sprinkle of the little pellets, which actually has got some minerals in it, and it's got some seaweed and some blood and bone, and it's an organic pellet. And you can see that it's absolutely thumping. When I pick it up, it's full of worm tea, 
down below and they're just sending the roots down and sumping it up. They are so green and healthy, it just blows, blows me out how good they are. Look, look at that, if I can bring them in closer. All right, let's get another angle and give you a closer look because this is the bomb, guys. This works really great and you get a lot of food out of these little containers. The vibrancy and the color of these plants is just absolutely amazing. Now, I used to grow food for restaurants, right? So, and they wanted high-end premium organic food. That's what I used to do. And look, you can see the size of these bok choy leaves, both my hands, and the size of these lettuce leaves. I think these are called buttercup uh, or oak leaf. Oak leaf, I think they're called. And like, these grow together really well. They're a companion. And one side gets more light than the others, and there's no one blocking each other. And they are planted in rows, but it's not a great, it's not a real problem because there's not so much out in the garden bed where pests are around and predominantly getting in here. And because of the tank is full of worm tea, and I'm spraying it every morning with a misting, it's just getting super, super lush. And I'm telling you, this, this food, you just cannot get anything like this from the supermarket. So how can you too grow amazing container gardens like this where you need some quality potting mix, an organic one preferably, or even maybe some Marty's Garden compost if you live locally? Water it with some liquid that comes out of your worm farm, make sure it's highly oxygenated and it's not stagnant. And supply it with it nearly every day. That is the trick, a nice weak solution. And then put it in a nice spot where lettuce loves to grow, loves to go with bok choy, especially like temperate places in the spring, subtropical regions, you can grow it winter and spring and autumn, not through the summer, too hot guys. But yeah, it absolutely, literally cranks. So keep an eye for more videos about how we're gonna do these plantings. We've got some really cool companion plantings coming up using container gardens. And you'd be surprised how much food you can grow. Just like this, woo! Have a look at this, my friends. This is a mini Cos lettuce garden. It's got a couple little baby bok choys in here as well. This is the small dwarf variety. And I'm growing in a tray with compost and worm tea down below. And so you can just sprinkle the seed in here and then just thin it out and grow. Some people were asking me about doing this for their parrots and their birds and stuff. I thought that's a great idea. But this is really a small space invention where you can come along and you can harvest quite regularly from it. And down below in the tray, you can see the roots coming out down below there. They're going down into the worm liquid down below and no other fertilizer, just compost worm casts and worm tea. You just come and harvest from the sides, like here's a little leaf here. Oh, so good. And if you keep, keep it moist and don't let it dry out, the cost lettuce doesn't go bitter. It stays actually quite sweet. And we've got a couple of little butternuts and different things growing. You can plant any type of lettuces that you want in here, really. They just won't grow as big as they will in one of the container gardens that I've shown you, but it's another way to grow lettuce in a small space. And I really, really like this one. It's really cool. So this is the very first planting that I did this season. Cos lettuce, yep. You can see all the leaves down here where they're sort of like browning off. Well, I've been harvesting from the sides for around about a month. And look, still producing food for me. It's growing in one of these containers, compost, worm cast, liquid from the worm farm. It's never had a pest on it, mate. I've never seen an aphid on here, and I just harvest them, make little wraps, put it in salad sandwiches, all that type of stuff. Just look at the leaves, look, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. You just can't beat it. So listen guys, if you're digging the show, you're loving what I'm doing, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you hang around. Let me know if you want to see another 
planting. I think I'm gonna do a strawberry companion planting coming up soon. Pretty excited about that. Let me know if you'd love to see that. And I'll see you at the next video. Yeah, more organic gardening coming on the way. Small space stuff, but look, worm farming, just cranking. Bye for now.